Well, huge controversy in Poland, this incoming uh, Donald Tusk government we've seen with Tusk as prime minister. Uh, we've seen Polish state media put into liquidation by this pro-EU uh, government with all operations of TVP World suspended until mid January. Now, that has prompted a massive uh, backlash from the Polish president and from the PIS, Law and Justice, Eurosceptic Party, of course, were in power and were the largest party in the Polish election results. But a, a coalition of opposition parties came together. And so subsequently, you've seen Donald Tusk become the new Polish prime minister. Now, we have seen uh, previously warnings from those in the Law and Justice Party that Germany wants to turn the EU into a Fourth Reich that there's a, a German plan that the EU is preparing to annihilate the Polish state. Some very, very strong language. And subsequently, since this new government has come in, since we've seen this media takeover, we're now seeing uh, from the Law and Justice Party uh, calls for a protest against the Tusk-led government on the 11th of January. And you see the quote there. A demonstration will be held in Warsaw in defence of freedom of speech, freedom of the media, and simply in defence of democracy, because we have a real problem with the democracy today. The demo, to be called Protest of Free Polls, going to take place outside uh, Parliament. And you see there the Law and Justice Party claiming that the new government aims to fulfil the expectations of the EU, implementing Brussels' new migration pact, and wanting to reduce the country to an area inhabited by Poles and ruled from the outside. Huge criticism of this government takeover of public media outlets. So it'll be interesting to see what voters uh, make of what the Tusk-led government has done since they've come uh, to power. And indeed how many end up attending this demonstration. But I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more of course guys. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course as ever, cheers for watching.